Good afternoon, Kevin here from Art of Smart. Just thought I'd show you what we've been doing here today, Wolven Sands. Just been a final few finishing touches to a development package we've been doing. So I'll just start by showing you a few components that we've got here in our rack. The top component we've got here is the package RK1 router. Um, we use this in all, our, in all our racks. This is because the ISP routers we just use solely for an internet one connection to the outside world. The RK1, the beauty of this is it controls our systems and uses also backpack software, which means we can remotely monitor all our sites. If any faults do occur, we can dial in and deal with them remotely. So basically, if there was any faults at a client's home, nine times out of 10, we've dialed in remotely and fixed them before they even noticed there's an issue. The next component we've got here in the rack is the NK1 network controller, um, also pack edge. Uh, we use this to control our Wi-Fi system in the home and um, also links in with the access points and um, also other features, network management and you can set up things such as separate VLANs. We probably won't use that in this situation with it being a uh, small development. The next feature in the rack, personally my, my favourite feature, most important, EOS rack strip. Um, it's, not just, it's not just branding everything, it's important. The fact of the matter is, we're so proud of our installs, we're happy to put our name on it. And also, another important feature, contact details. We've got a point of contact there, if there's ever any issues, we're happy for you to get in touch. Our next feature is our package switch. It's an SX24 16P. That means it's got 16 ports of PoE. Normally we'd use a 24 port PoE switch, but for this application, this size of property, I felt that 16 ports was more than enough. Okay, so as you may notice, I'm out of the cupboard a bit with the rack. We do this with all our racks, but along had a cover on. This means we can move the racks out of the cupboard. This makes it really easy for maintenance and serviceability. The next component in the rack, the EA5 controller. This is the main brain of any rack. Um, the one we've used here is the control for EA5. Um, we do three models of this, the EA1, which is the base model, the EA3 and the EA5, which is the best. Um, the reason we've used it on this particular project is not because of the size of the project, but it's the availability to have four separate streams of audio playing at the same time. Okay, so the next part of the rack I'm going to talk to you about um, on the system is the audio. So we, we have got here an 8x8 audio matrix switch by Triad. Um, this allows eight inputs of audio with eight outputs. Um, four of the inputs we've got are from the EA5 controller. Um, that will in turn go out to the four zone amplifier we've got installed here. Okay, so our next component in the rack is our package IPPDU. Um, this allows us to basically remotely monitor the ports and all the components we've got uh, power to plug into. Um, the beauty of this is, this allows us to be able to power cycle and manage the ports uh, remotely. So if you was having issues with certain components, something that's troublesome, um, for example the SkyQ box, we'd be able to log into that and power cycle this remotely using our package software. Of course, it's surge protected. Um, but also another thing we can do with this is we can tie it into our touch, um, control for touch screens. Um, so we can create reset buttons for the client to be able to use um, so they don't have to come into the rack. Because in my eyes, if you're having to come into the rack, you integrate them, it's certainly not doing their job properly. Uh, so our next component here in our rack is our HitVision NVR. Um, the reason we use HitVision and the reason we do use HitVision is um, purely because it's app, it's sleek, it's got a great user interface. Um, Another reason is we've installed package cameras at this particular property and uh, this ties in with OnVid Profile S so it's compatible with the cameras. Um, another great thing, our door station, our uh, control for door station, we actually set this to record to the MVR 24 7. So you need to come always recording through that camera. So uh, our next component in the rack is our APC UPS, uh, it's a power supply. Um, we use these 
Oh god, oh, Arax was simply one off build. Arax already stalling about it. Solely because if there was a power cut, it's got battery backup protection on the rack, it allows us to keep the system online. 